Hey guys, it's Melanie. Today I am finally going to be sharing with you what I purchased during the Sephora Spring VIB sale. And I'm also going to share with you what I got with my Ulta 20% off Platinum Perks coupon that I got a couple weeks ago. And um, I ended up buying a lot more stuff at Ulta because... I got 20% off versus 15%. Um, I quite frequently, because I am a Platinum Perks member at Ulta, will get these 20% off coupons. And I feel like it's such good incentive for me to buy <laughs> that almost every single time that I get one, I end up making a purchase. I'm one of those typical people that always has a cart going at both Sephora and Ulta. And whenever things go on sale, I will kind of spring at that point. So um, since I get the coupons a lot more frequently at Ulta, I am always making more purchases there, which is great because their point system is so much better than Sephora's. Um, I won't get into all of that right now, but let's go ahead and dive in and see what I got at Ulta first. So I have everything in my Sephora bag here, so I'm gonna have to reach in. So the first thing that I grabbed, actually I want to share with you what I got during the um, Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. So I ended up, and I already took them out of the package, but <laughs> I ended up getting three of the full-on lip creams. That was all that I purchased. There was really more that I technically wanted, but I wanted to show a little bit of restraint because I knew Sephora VIB was coming up and some of the things that I was gonna be getting at that sale were a little bit more expensive. So the day that the Buxom full-on lip creams were $10 each, I ordered three online, and these are the three that I got. The first is Bellini. I don't know why I'm holding my hand up there. The second is Dolly, and the third is White Russian. So um, I love Dolly. If you've watched my videos for any length of time, you know that Dolly is my holy grail mauve plum shade from the Buxom line. Um, Bellini is brand new to me and White Russian is actually a repurchase as well. I'm just about done with my little sample size of White Russian. Love that one and um, wanted to continue to have it in my collection. So these were great because I believe they were $10 each. So that's a good deal. I also ended up picking up and this was with the 20% off coupon. I picked up a backup of my full-on lip cream in the color Blushing Margarita. I actually have one right here. This is limited edition, which is why I grabbed a backup. This is so beautiful. I've had this for less than two months and I'm already halfway done with it. I use this almost every single day. Um, it's just a beautiful, nude pink shade. It's somewhat similar to White Russian, but has a little bit more pink in it. Anyway, it's absolutely gorgeous, and I just, I really wanted a backup, so now I have one. I obviously have a thing for these full-on lip creams from Buxom. Um, I think they're probably one of my favorite high-end, high-end glosses, other than the Marc Jacobs Enamored Lip Glosses. I love those as well. They're not sticky, they're creamy, they have a good amount of pigmentation for being a gloss, and I just love the texture. Okay, also at Ulta, I'm going to be doing a review of this. I've heard so many people talking about this mascara and just thought, okay, I'm finally gonna try it. It's the It's Superhero, what is going on with my lips, by the way? I, feel, I put on a little bit too much gloss and it's a little goopy, so, sorry. <laughs> Do you ever do that where you're just like, it's so pretty, I want to add more, but that's not necessarily the right thing to do. <laughs> the It's Superhero Lash Transforming Duo. So um, it's a duo because it came with a little mini guy, so I'm actually using the mini guy first, and I will have a video up in the next couple weeks about what I think about this. Um, but this was great because it was the same price as just the full size by itself, which I want to say was like 24 bucks. And it's always nice to have those minis to travel with. Um, so, but this is the full size here. So anyway, I feel like I got kind of a good deal on that. And obviously it was 20% off. This does have a natural bristle brush, which I do love. That is my favorite. So I'll report back on that. What else came from, do I have everything out? Okay, this. This came from Ulta. <laughs> also I have, 
one more thing that I can add to that pile. A little scatterbrained, can you guys tell? I picked up the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Tinted Pressed Finishing Powder. That's a mouthful, right? I have the color light. This was not even on my radar until I went in store at Sephora and was looking at it there and was like, how have I never heard of this? I do use powder foundation and um, it probably seems silly to those of you that don't use powder foundation to top a powder foundation with another powder, but it works for me because I have really oily skin. So this one is great. If you have never taken a look at this and you have oily skin like me, this is great to top my Laura Geller Balance and Brighten. I do think it adds just a touch more coverage, not much. It's pretty translucent. There's just a tiny bit more coverage, but there is additional oil absorption properties <laughs> that come along, that comes along with this. So um, this is this is fantastic. I really have been enjoying this for the last week that I've been using it, and um, I think it's a great finishing powder. Even if you use liquid foundation, I'm especially probably if you use liquid foundation and you have oily skin, this might be a great one to check out. I do like this whole Tarte Amazonian line that they have um and i have never really heard anyone talking about this so now that you know that it exists maybe go check it out and see if it's a good fit for you because it's a nice product i also picked up a backup of my speaking of powder foundation beloved laura geller baked balance in brighton i am in the color fair um it looks like this i have one that i'm going to be finished with probably within the next month I'm guessing I can already see pan on one side here but I love balance and brighten the only thing that I wish is that they had a more yellow toned balance and brighten I, I'm aware that they have the light but the light is too dark um might be slightly more yellow but it's too dark so it's not gonna work the porcelain is is the right shade of well, it's the right level of lightness, but it's the wrong tone. It's pink. And I don't I don't have pink in my skin. I have yellow. I need all the things to be yellow. <laughs> and unfortunately, most products tend to either lean neutral or pink, and that's real obnoxious. I have found that this Amazonian Smooth Operator Powder actually helps to adjust the tone of this ever so slightly so that it doesn't look quite as neutral on my skin, if that makes sense. So anyway... Um, I love this. I will always have this in my collection. If you've never tried the Laura Geller Balance in Brighton, you should, because it's amazing. Okay, and then I picked up a few things from Shea Moisture. Um, I actually picked up three things because, um, whoops, let's put that down. <laughs> One of my subscribers had mentioned that the scent of the uh, Raw Shea and Kapuasu line was very similar to the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream scent and it's similar it really truly is it is not a dupe but it is very similar and if you're someone that doesn't want to spend the money on the Sol de Janeiro I feel like this is a good alternative for you um, I haven't used these products yet I'm hoping that they're crazy hydrating like the Sol de Janeiro products are um, these are not going to stop me from buying my beloved bum bum cream and body wash, <laughs> but um, they will, they're an alternative. So I will probably repurchase this again in the future just based on the smell because it smells really good. Um, so I picked up the Daily Defense Bubble Bath and Body Wash. I'm going to be using this as a body wash for myself and my daughter Stella. I picked up the uh, hand and body scrub from the same line. This is a generous tub here. This is 12 ounces. And did I mention these were buy one, get one free and 20% off, so scream and deal. Um, this, is, it, it, this really smells nice, you guys. So the scent they say is Pashiflora Pasha and pistachio oils. It is slightly floral and slightly fruity. It's, it smells incredible. I don't know if you can smell this in store anywhere. I've... I purchase my stuff online because I love using Ebates. <laughs> I love cash back. Um, so most of the things that I purchase from Ulta and Sephora are usually from online. Um, but anyway, uh, how I just trust me, it smells good. <laughs> if you have to order it online, trust me, it smells good. If you like the Bum Bum Cream scent, you're gonna like this. 
but it's not a dupe, if that makes sense. Last thing I grabbed was the body butter. So um, I'm going to be trying these out and let you know just how they perform as like lotion, scrub, and body wash. <laughs> So check out Friday Favorites and Flops, and I'll update you there. All right, I believe now let us get to what I picked up at the Sephora VIP sale. If you missed my wish list video, I will link that down below. Um, you can go check that out and see how different this haul actually turned out. <laughs> There's a couple reasons for that. One, um, I decided that I'm going to hold off on purchasing lipsticks for right now because I have so many high-end lipsticks that I need to just really start using. So I saved the lipsticks that I wanted to purchase for November. So they're still in my cart, but they're going to linger there until the 20% off sale. Um, I did get something that was actually a holiday item that I had my eyes on in December. I told myself if this was still in the sales section at the spring VIB sale, I was going to get it. And, and it was, you guys, I can't believe I got my hands on this. Um, I have the box right here. It's the Marc Jacobs Object of De Object of Desire, not Objects. Um, it's a face and eye palette, and um, this was for holiday 2016. It's gorgeous. I'm actually wearing it today. It's so beautiful, and everything applies so perfectly, you guys. If this is still available, I'm going to link everything down below for you, but especially if this is still available... I highly recommend it, even for $49, which is what it was on sale for, down from, I think, $69. This is a great deal, you guys. It's so beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty. So there is a, whoop, this way. Uh, there's a bronzer, a highlighter, a blush, and then obviously six eyeshadows. I actually used this bronzer as a crease color today. Um, I used this, this this shade on my lid sorry <laughs> I actually did not use the blush today and then I use this as my liner these are so beautiful in terms of texture and pigmentation and I'm totally scraping the top of the eyeshadow right now of course um the packaging is totally excessive and obnoxious I wish it was a lot less complicated than this and this is ridiculous but the products themselves are really, really great quality, and I'm going to enjoy using the heck out of this. So it's actually going in my daily beauty drawer. <laughs> okay, what else did I get? Let's grab the Sephora bag. Um, I guess since this is sitting in front of me, I'm actually wearing this today as well. I picked up another Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush. I do not like the new strobe blushes. I have enlarged pores on my cheeks, uh, and I'm all I'm not about that shimmer life. Um, I know a lot of you are. Shimmer to me just it's a little too much for my everyday life. I am just a work from home mom, and I feel like I I don't need a bunch of like bing highlight on my face. So, but these are nice because they provide a soft, subtle glow without being nuts. So I picked up Dim Infusion. Yep, Dim Infusion. I have Mood Exposure, Incandescent Electra, and uh, Luminous Flush in a palette that I got a couple years ago. I love these blushes, you guys. They're expensive, but they are worth every penny. I'm telling you, if you're going to spend some money on blush, check out the Hourglass ones. I know that they are hard to justify but they're worth it in my eyes. So I've been wanting this one for a while. It's a beautiful peach, and I think it's going to be gorgeous for summertime, so I'm glad to finally have it. I have... There's the box. This is what the box looks like. <laughs> I purchased a couple of... Um, come on now. I purchased a couple of Marc Jacobs mascaras because I've heard good things and um, I have a feeling that I'm going to be spoiled by these and it's just going to end up costing me a fortune in the future but a lot of you have said that the Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara is to die for so I'm going to test it out and see if it's worth the splurge. The container is amazing. 
and huge. This thing is massive. Um, so I will try this out and do a worth the splurge on it. I'm also going to do a worth the splurge on the Omega Lash, which is another volumizing mascara. I'm big on volumizing mascaras. I don't really need length. Um, I just like fullness. Um, my length is actually okay, naturally. So um, we'll try this one as well. I believe that the Velvet Noir gets better reviews than this one, but I was curious about both. I actually think I like the brush of this one a little bit better when I saw it in store. So we'll give those a whirl and see, see if they're worth it. And the last thing that I picked up, uh, of course, I mean, yes, this smells good but this is to die for. I am one of those suckers, 100%, I'm one of those suckers that loves the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. Um, a lot of people are like, I, I don't wanna spend the money on that and I completely respect them, but whenever I wear this, I'm so happy. I just, I love the smell so much, it just makes me happy. I get so many compliments um, when I'm wearing the Bum Bum Cream along with the body spray. I, I just, I love the smell. <laughs> End of story, that's how I'm gonna justify it. I actually purchased two of these particular sets last holiday season um, because I wanted to have backups. And this did sell out online. I was originally just gonna purchase it online, but it sold out and I was like, duh! And then I just prayed, I was like, please just let it be in store. Please let there be one in store for me to purchase. <laughs> I didn't actually pray about that, but I was just keeping my fingers crossed. Um, and yeah, I walked in and there it was, just a shining beacon of, buy me. Um, I literally like walked into that Sephora as soon as like VIB started for just the regular VIB losers <laughs> who don't spend a thousand dollars a year. And I like marched over there and I picked it up and I was like, perfect, let's go. I think I actually also bought the Velvet Noir in store that day, but this was my this was my crowning achievement here. Um, this does come with the full size of the body wash as well as the full size of the Bum Bum Cream. It was $55. This was limited edition for the holidays and I think they just had a bunch of leftovers. I really hope they just continue to sell this set because I would just keep buying them together. I do like to layer the body spray in addition to this with, you know, with the body wash, the body cream, and the spray. It helps the scent to last a little bit longer. I did not, and this might shock you, I did not pick up a backup of the body spray. The only reason is because, and I'm looking over here, because <laughs> I have this ridiculous perfume collection that I need to start wearing. Um, I actually had to throw away a perfume in my April Empties, uh, the Aqualina Pink Sugar, because it went bad. I had only used a little bit more than like a quarter of it and I've had it for several years. I have a lot of money sitting up here in terms of perfume. I need to start using that stuff as well. So it's going to be hard, but I figured I have enough of the body spray to probably get me through summer and then at the VIB sale in November, I will pick up another body spray and you know, it'll be fine. But I do need to start wearing my perfumes. Luckily, this layers beautifully with a lot of the scents that I have <laughs> and that I like to wear on a regular basis. So anyway, I was just really thankful to get this because I know some of you were also planning on picking it up online and then it like sold out, I think actually before the VIB sale started. But anyway, that's what I got, right? That's everything, yep. That's what I got, it's more than enough. At this point, you're probably not gonna see a bunch of like major makeup hauling until the fall. Um, I'm trying to not overdo it with the makeup purchasing. <laughs> if you watch my videos regularly, you know that once a year I do a giant makeup purge. I got rid of a lot of stuff at the beginning of this year and I don't want to necessarily just bring in more and more and more. Um, I want to keep my collection at kind of a pretty even keel at this point. So things that I bring in um, are great, but then other things have to go. And I always pass along my makeup to my nieces who are, um, one's in college, one's in high school, and they just, they love getting that stuff. So um, the next time I do a purge, they will get another bag of goodies. But anyway, let me know what you picked up down below in the comments, either with your Ulta 20% off coupon 
or with your Sephora VIB sale coupon. <laughs> I'm always curious to see what other people got. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.